folks, this is AJ, the CEO, and we're going to be doing church post-production episode 38, a little bit different, because we're going to be walking through setting up our sermon as a series for the entire week, so let's go. Hey folks, this is AJ, the CEO. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So normally I do this on a Sunday, but I got um, I had to go back to my mom's on Sunday, so I wasn't able to really do the church post-production live. So I'm going to be walking through what I'm going to be doing in this one, which is probably going to be significantly longer than what I normally do just because I'm trying something and doing something new. After really looking through the content as well as how my channel is going and just seeing how the state of YouTube is, I am really thinking about revising how I am doing my videos for my church. Now, I have a question for you. When is the last time you've watched any YouTube video and you've sat there and watched it for 45 minutes to two hours straight. Most likely very, very, very few, maybe 1% of people do that. I'm talking about one video itself is 45 minutes to two hours long. Um, now, but that's how most of our live streams are. And I'm really been sitting back thinking, why are we doing our live stream and videos from church in a way that most people are not watching. Again, most people may be watching on their phone and their tablet. Who's going to sit in, on their phone sta staring at their phone and tablet for two hours? They're not. So my thought, and I did this a while ago, but I think I'm going to start this back again, is to turn my church's sermon into a series automatically. Um, normally, pastor preaches between 30 to 45 minutes, so I'm going to divide that up, and I mean, it's Monday now, so we're going to go Friday, I mean, Friday, <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, try and chop it up into five videos, maybe four, and leave people hanging so that they are interested in catching the ne next one and feeding into the microwave mentality of want something short but still impactful and then you're also um tipping in on well tapping at the curiosity factor of people of wanting to know what's next and i think that will get a lot more results than for the whole sitting down for the entire sermon now i could be completely wrong um this is experimentation trying to find out what is best for our church compared to a bunch of videos that um, looking at the analytics for your YouTube channel that most people watch on an average of three minutes and they don't watch the entirety of it. So let's cater towards something that's shorter to get more attention. So in other words, instead of expecting everybody to sit down for an entire 45 minute sermon and you're losing 80 percent of the people five minutes in and see if we can get more results out of five videos that are shorter that ultimately tie into the very next video to compel people to want to keep watching and we do a drip release meaning that you release one on tuesday wednesday thursday friday and you'll get people to come back more than expecting everybody to just sit and watch that one video so that's the rationale behind this so let me go ahead and jump over here into the computer and we're going to get started all right, so I'm doing this a little bit different so y'all can hear. So I have headphones on, so you're going to be able to hear the audio. Now, I'm hearing the echo, um, which is a little uncomfortable, but oh well. So let's make a new project. This is for the third. And like I said, it is um, 12.04 on the 5th. So this is... Tuesday. All right. Now, actually, I have this set up as um, I have this set up as one screen, so that'll work. All right. So let's pull in our video, and we're gonna 
pulling in the assets for church. Second. All right. Now, normally I make a full timeline for the entire service, but this time, I mean, I'm still going to do that and I'm going to do an online one, but the online is going to have, well, let's just do it the same way we normally do, and that shouldn't take us that long. All right. So, at this point, this is good. This is how we normally would finish everything. But now we need to find how long was this. All right, so the sermon was around 38 minutes. All right, all right so we're going to do 38 divided by 5. So that's 7 minutes. I don't I think that's too short. So let's do 38 divided by 4. So right at 10 minutes. I think I'll do that. All right, so let's see what happens at up to 10 minutes. At that point, you have to act. No matter what happens, no matter how you plan things, sometimes they just, they just don't turn out right. All right, so honestly, I'm going to stop it right there. And if I zoom in enough, you can see there's a gap. So I'm going to cut this right here. And all of this is going to be my clip number one. Let's give it a different color, make it stand out. So now I'm going to play it again, and I just want to see we're right at 10 minutes, give or take. Um, and then I want to find the next easy ending point. You have to make sure that you my time, the time that God has given me to do what I do, and the purpose for which I've come is not yet. And I will not let you push me into doing something that is not my calling to do. He could have. He could have. I speak of his feet, but it just ain't. No, it ain't my time. Not my time. It, and, and Jesus could have reacted. Instead, he acted. Now, I see there's a pause right here. I'm going to see what that sounds like. Why me? Have you ever asked why me? No, that's a perfect ending point. So I'm going to cut right here. Now, because of me doing this in different sections, the lower third has to be moved. So I'm already right here. I'm going to move this lower third forward. But then I'm going to copy it and include it in this second clip. So right about here, I think I copied instead of pasting it up. All right, there we go. So that's clip number one, clip number two. Now clip number three, we'll start right here. And let's set this to green. I know. What happened? Strong wind to come. All right, so I need to increase the volume right here. I know it. I know it. We born, man. We we sanctified. We, we got all the faith in God you can muster. I mean, we strong. What happened? Strong winds can come and winds can blow. I would never ask why me. To complain is to react, to blame folk. Always blaming somebody else. The question All right, so is he 
Now I'm coming to this part because it looks like the audio is just drops to me here. And that's something to believe rather than just say. Alright, so I might need to cut this and amplify this again before it starts to get loud. So this little section, let's crank that up to 15. And that's something to believe rather than just say. Greater is he that is in me. All right, I didn't pay attention to when this time starts. So we're at 19, 1946. All right, so there's another gap right here. Because you can change the situation. All right, that's enough of a perfect ending cut right there. All right, and then let's move a little bit forward. Paste to add the lower third again. And there's a gap here, so I'm gonna take this gap. Let me move this gap this way, actually. So we have one, two, three, and this is going to be four. So we're just going to try four clips this time, and we'll set it as blue. Sometimes, sometimes, you can do nothing. All right, so we got, now because of this, I don't think we need this lower third right here. So we have... Cut this entire about 38 minute sermon into four chunks. And I think this will work well. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this in this format because we need this for our podcast, which is just audio, which will be in, in its entirety. But we're going to do a new timeline. And we'll call this clip one. Another one, clip two, clip three, and clip four. And honestly, I find it easy just to paste everything in each one. And then we're going to find and we're going to add a um, playlist link to point to the next one so we're not even going to do um, our end cards on this one I mean excuse me we're not going to use the end card graphic we're just going to put the end card links on top of the video so we don't have to worry about it sorry so clip number one let's delete everything except for that one then clip two, we delete everything here. And if we do it right, let me zoom in. We did delete all of this. It should jump to where we have the mag, the number marker. Yes, it does. And we're just gonna fade that in. This one I 
I think I might leave this one here. But now that I think about it, I might have to change how the end cards work if we continue doing this. So let's play it. Sometimes, sometimes, you can do nothing. Now, with all this being said, I need to add a graphic so people know what they're listening to. That's a note for future. I'm not going to do that right now. All right. So we have all our clips. So now let's do the mass delivery of all this. I'm going to go here to our online. Go to deliver. And actually, let's start with the full. I'm going to pick full. Because actually, I'm thinking about not doing the full service anymore. But I still need to render it. Sorry. So we'll pick 1080p YouTube full 1103 2019. I'm gonna send this to our e drive. Now we're gonna start with our clips, clip one. So we're gonna do clip one um, 1103. So we'll add that, then clip two, clip three, clip four, All right? And then we're gonna go back to online, but we're gonna pick audio only. Let's call that podcast. And we're going to change the audio to MP4. And let's, let's do it at 192 just to see what the size is. All right. So we're going to render these clips first. And now since they're so short, they should go faster. So actually, I'm going to render everything and then I'm going to go back and do it full. All right, now looking at the render time, it's only about four minutes for each clip. So that's looking very good. So while that is going on, let me open up my browser over here. Well, the church browser. And let's make a note of this. So we're going to make a playlist for the sermon. We'll call that to act to react. And in YouTube. Let's come in here to our Studio. And I'm going to hit a playlist. New playlist. To act or react. Create. Alright, this is where we're going to add information about this. So we're going to copy all this information and put it in the description. These people know exactly what this is. So uh, the sales. All right, so we're going to add all the videos into this playlist, and then it will put it in order, and I think we should be good. Now, this link I'm going to use and put on the church's page. So if I come here to the sermon... 
So again, as I said, I don't even know if this is going to work. I'm just playing into the habits of how people watch YouTube. Most people are not doing an entire 45 minutes to two hour sermon in one sitting. And somebody did comments on this. I need to see that. So we're going to come in here and edit. And for the video URL, we're going to put the playlist. Now, I don't even know if this is going to work, um, but that's new to try. Right, so this is going to be the video. The entirety is going to be available under the SoundCloud URL, even though we're actually using Wooshka. The link is here. If we click. Yeah, it takes us to the playlist. So that's cool. So that will work. All right, so now all we have to do is start uploading this and we're gonna schedule it to come out on a different day throughout the week. So what we're gonna do is upload a video. So we got clips one and two. So let's drag these over here. And this is where we're going to copy over all the information that we had from here. One, four. Yeah, I'll put this here for right now. Uh, the title as a tag speaker date and scripture all right so that's everything I have the graphic on Canva that was made let's upload this that's our image. And now this is where we're going to put it in our playlist. All right. So this is done. Now this is what we're going to do. What we're going to do is schedule this first one to come out today at 9 a.m. And then we're just going to sequentially do this for all the rest of them so it's going to be 9 a.m. on the following day um, etc 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 and like I said the main thing is just going to see what's the results of this whole thing so anyway I know this was a little bit different but um, I'm learning at the same time as y'all just trying something different because I'm seeing just posting up throwing up videos on YouTube it just doesn't cut it anymore from a church standpoint because again we're expecting too much from a culture who wants something to be bite-sized and contained so we're just gonna try that out so anyway I hope you like this type of content if you do I appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry we will see you on the next video later